you so much for watching. My name is Yavira. Today I have a short story time and a revealing of my birthday gift for 2021. If you're interested in knowing what I got as well as a story time behind what was supposed to be my birthday gift, stay tuned. So first, um, I do have my piece right here. I have it in the Gucci box. It's actually a handbag, but before I get into that, I wanted to share with you that I had originally purchased a Louis Vuitton handbag from the LouisVuitton.com website that I had seen in stock that was in my wish list. The handbag that I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton Posse bag. It is a handbag that is a 2021 release. Right whenever it came out, it was called the New Chain Bag. And then just like a few weeks after, they renamed it to the Posse Bag. I'll put an image of what it looks like here but it's a very beautiful bag and i was very excited because i had actually seen this bag back in january in store whenever i was picking up another handbag and it was stunning gorgeous the lighting the way it just hit and it was just perfection um the chain on it was just so shiny and just gorgeous beautiful new stunning all the bells and whistles of fancy it really complemented the emblem that was in the front which is the closure for the actual handbag um, it's a very nice size it's probably mm, about the size of my wrist here um, that it's, it's a very 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 stunning handbag it reminds me a lot of the pochette matisse um, just a little bit more dressy and not so common but this handbag for some reason it's been out of stock for like as long as it's been available on the Louis Vuitton website. I actually haven't seen it out and about in my area and I live in a very populated city. Whenever I got the handbag, I was like just excited. This was the handbag that I was constantly searching on the website for since I basically saw it in store. Um, the only reason why I didn't get it at that time is because I was already picking up a handbag and I had purchased like a few other items in December as well. So I'm like, okay, I gotta kind of enjoy the pieces that I am getting today and as well have bought already before just getting a whole nother handbag because it, it's expensive, right? This handbag at the time retailed for 2430 It's still the same price. Um, I think there was like a small price increase. Well, not small, but not to the whole range of items back in like March or April around there. Um, so this handbag was not in that price increase just because it was new. It was a January 2021 release but whenever i did receive the handbag i was just like overwhelmed and happy excited that i one had finally gotten it in my hands and two it it was gonna be mine right i had purchased the thing it was gonna be my birthday gift i was excited and everything so as soon as i opened the box i was just like oh my god maybe i should wait i should wait for my actual birthday let it be a little bit special and i had actually bought it in august my birthday's in september but i'm like no i'm just gonna go ahead and open it just in case there's anything wrong with the handbag i have time to return it took it out of the dust bag i don't have any images or video footage of this but I was very underwhelmed i opened the handbag the chain was very dull it looked very old um it had a few scratches it it, it was it was very sad for me because i had seen it in person had i not had seen this bag in person you know from back center tried it on and everything i would not have maybe returned it I did end up returning it. Um, I probably would have kept it because it's still a, a beautiful bag. It's very gorgeous. But the chain that I saw whenever I saw this in person was beautiful. It was new, stunning, eye-catching, everything. Whenever I bought it online, it, it was just, it was old. Like the chain looked like I had owned the bag for, I don't know, like five, seven years, something like that. And this handbag on the back, it actually had some markings like around the glazing. So I'm like, okay. I had heard about the quality issues um, with Louis Vuitton. I hadn't personally experienced one that I was very so caught behind that I was like, okay, no, I'm sending it back. But this one, it, it was it was a downfall for me. We went into the Louis Vuitton store the same day that I opened it, and I was talking to um, one of the ladies there that helped me out. 
Um, and I said, hey, I just got this bag in and I opened it today and I'm not happy with it. So she's like, okay, you know, what's wrong? Maybe we can find another item that interests you in the store that can check all the boxes of what it is that you're looking for. I kind of just told her I had seen this bag before and it just looks different. And she's like, well, um, okay, let's, let's check it out. Let's see what's, what's wrong with it. So we took it out of the box in the store and then she's like, oh, well, I mean, it looks fine. It, this is how they all look. She's like, and this is a very beautiful bag and it's very hard to come by even at the store. And we have a pretty popular store where we get hard to find pieces all the time. Even for us, it's kind of hard to get this handbag in. Um, so she's like, are you sure you don't like it? Like, what is it about the handbag that you don't like? And I told her, I was like, I don't like the chain. The chain is very dull. It's very old. If you look inside of the bag where it has the rivets, um, I'll try to show pictures of the bag because I don't have it of the actual item. But it was the same story whenever I saw it in person in January. It was the same story whenever I got it shipped to my house. And then a third piece. So the same thing, it's gonna happen to every <laughs> bag apparently. But anyways, the rivets inside were like already like a green tinge, like kind of oxidation. And I don't know if it's because of the microfiber lining that it's mixed in. I don't think so. I just think that they put the rivets in and probably don't oil it or scuff it, buff it right before they ship the item out to either the stores or to the customers themselves. I kind of pointed those things out. She's like, well, no, this is how the bag comes. And um, she's like, it's that brush gold hardware as soon as she said that she was trying to scan the bag for the new microchip system that they have going on so while she was doing that i was just there waiting so i just looked it up on the website right i said okay maybe i missed something maybe i was just so caught off guard from the handbag that i had seen in person some months back and with the item that i had received so on the website it does say that the hardware is aged gold hardware they actually make the posse in all leather a version it, it looks a little bit different just because it's all leather even the chain against the leather looks way nicer than the way it looks like in the monogram as soon as i saw that and i had you know gone back to my memory of how it was the new chain bag and then they updated to the posse so I'm like, okay, let's just say I'm wrong and it was always the aged gold hardware, which I actually went into Fashion File when I saw some, so I'm not going crazy. Um, if that is the case, I don't find it surprising because Louis Vuitton did this with the um, On The Go. They updated the handles from the canvas style to the calfskin in black. And it was within, you know, a few months of it being released, just kind of like the Posse, except with the Posse, it was just like, um, I, they probably updated like two, three months into having released the bag. And I don't know if it's because they just found that the H gold hardware was going to be a better fit for the bag long term or if they were going for a particular look the handbag with the H hardware the the actual buckle in the front it still has the shiny gold all around and inside when you unbuckle it and the rivets themselves that are on the handbag they're shiny as well so it makes no sense to me why would you go with the H hardware chain strap and not do the same thing with the rivets and the lining of the buckle so you know after i was talking to a lady and she finally found the microchip in the back of the bag um she was like okay so what do you want to do and i said i want to return the bag and i want to reorder it she's like okay well let's go ahead and do that she said like, but is there something else in the store that might be interesting to you i said i was interested in the pajama tees in the reverse canvas she's like okay yeah that one i don't even have available to show you because it's just so popular and i already knew that but because she was asking i might as well have just given it an attempt of you know i'm returning on the bag if this other bag is available i can just go ahead and get it and forget about the posse next she was like is there another one i was like well yeah i'm kind of interested in the palm springs um bag pack in the pm size so she's like okay i think i might have that available so she brought it out i tried it on i decided that it was a little bit too small on my frame for what i kind of wanted it for I, I think either the the very small the mini size might look better but that in between size i was just not too caught into and she didn't have the mm size for me to look into but i think that's the one i would want if i'm gonna get a backpack but anyways we did the return and i just kind of went about my day like okay well 
maybe the next bag it's gonna be just a little bit prettier but then i was like well maybe i could have just kept the bag and just buffed it out myself made it look shiny but my husband was like it's a very expensive bag for you to take your time and do that to every single link in the chain and then what if you start scratching off the gold or something he's like just don't even do it if you're just not happy just don't worry we can find something different this was like on a saturday and then about a thursday i received an email saying that my item was already in store available for me to pick up so we went over on friday as soon as i had gone in there and mentioned that i wanted to pick up an item that i had ordered in store um the lady was like okay well give me the information and i'll go back and go look for it and i had my all my original receipt as soon as i pulled it out she's like oh honey that's a website um online order i'm like yeah i know i bought the bag came in here i returned it this is my return receipt and then i repurchased it she's like oh, okay okay no problem so she took my receipt of where i had purchased it and went onto the bag to look for the item she comes out the bag the bag had my name sharpied on there and um she's like okay well here you go i'm just gonna get a manager to um, double cross check that i am giving you the item and i was like oh well i actually want to see the item before i kind of walk out because i didn't have a good experience whenever i had gotten it originally so she's like oh okay no problem let's open up the bag so we opened it up insane even with all these shiny lights and gazillion number of lights that they have in there that are meant to showcase their products in the most beautiful way i i was still unhappy the chain was still dull brown kind of it's it's not like horrible either i probably could have gone past it but i have that picture in my mind of the way it was originally and i'm just i, I feel like the bag itself looks better with the shiny gold combination rather than how they updated with the aged gold so to me it just it didn't make sense to me anymore so I was like, okay, I, I don't want it. And then she's like, what do you mean? <laughs> she's like, it's a gorgeous bag. What do you mean you don't want it? I was like, no, I had originally brought it back because of the chain and I see that the chain is the same. I'm not interested in the bag. I just want to go ahead and um, return it. So she's like, oh, okay, well, let me um, go ahead and process that. But she was kind of blown away. And then at, at that time, the manager finally made it back to kind of confirm that she was giving me the purchase she was like oh we're not we're not gonna turn it in after all and then he's like well why she's like oh well, she doesn't want it and then he's like what's wrong with the bag and i said well i don't like the chain he's like oh okay like i could tell that as soon as i kind of explained the whole ordeal um i could tell that he knew that the bag had indeed had been updated and so he's like it's okay if you're just not happy with it we understand we want you to be happy with your purchase so i'm gonna go ahead and process a return he did that and then she just went over got some perfume samples kind of showed them to me while he was doing the return and whatnot but after that day i was kind of like okay well there's not a lot of handbags that i'm currently like oh my god i need it in my collection like right now like that louis vuitton has i would like to add a calpacines bag in my collection as well as an alma pm i did ask for the alma pm while i was there and she didn't have it surprise surprise she did have the one in the monogram but i just wanted the damir Eben one and she didn't have it um i did ask for a few other items uh, i tried on a pair of shoes but i still kind of had that little bitter taste in my mouth of you know why are they doing so many sudden changes and um all the quality like you know not the mat like the age versus the shiny gold buckle and all that stuff that i kind of mentioned like why not make it all cohesive and have a coherence piece right and so after that i was kind of like mm, kind of bummed about louis vuitton uh, i'm pretty sure i'm still gonna get some items from them i do still have a few items in my wish list and i know that they're just going to get over the hurdle of the quality issues and whatnot but after all that long ramble i am gonna finally show you what it is that i actually got for my birthday and this was a gucci item kind of like i showcased right before it we were gonna go into the gucci store but they just had an overwhelmingly line like it was like 28 people long 
plus whoever was already in the store. So I'm like, okay, no, I'll just skip it. And I couldn't browse through the website, but I just, you know, I was just so bummed. I was like, well, maybe I don't want a handbag for my birthday anymore. <laughs> maybe I want jewelry or shoes or something. We ended up going to the Gucci outlet out in San Marcos, Texas. And I found this piece that I had already owned it in some fashion. If you saw my handbag collection video, I kind of gave you a short story of the Gucci handbag. I had it in the smaller version. The size was called small, even though it's more like a mini style bag the one that I did have it was called small um, but I got the same bag in the medium so basically right after I sold it I kind of just had it in my mind like oh well I really did like it but it just didn't have enough base capacity for me to put everything that I was interested in so then as soon as I had first seen it like three four years ago in the outlets like the bigger size the one that I actually got I was like well maybe I should get this one but then I was like well I just didn't really vibe with it but it was the size the thing that I didn't vibe with I had seen it maybe three four times since that initial spot at the outlet um, because we're there and I was like okay well I didn't get that Louis Vuitton bag and we also went into like the Burberry outlet they have a YSL they have a um, Ferragamo Salvatore Ferragamo outlet there. They also have Prada. They have a few other stores there that we kind of went into and I didn't find anything. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna finally ask if I can try this bag on and then I'm just gonna take the plunge. So the bag actually comes in like a um, carton, a brown box, like a shipping box, but I actually bought a pair of shoes as well. So I obviously took the shoes out of the box and I'm keeping the box for the actual handbag and so this is the older packaging because obviously it is an outlet so they're not meant to have the latest and greatest pieces but um, there's a dust bag and in the original box that it comes in which is like the like shipping container kind of box um, it comes wrapped in a, a little baggie and it, it almost seemed like interesting because I had never seen handbags like this like you always just see it in a dust bag and it's pretty packaging and all that stuff not so much in the raw and the naked in the full flesh if you will um but i was happy that i had that experience of opening it that in detail for the first time like i just knew that no one else had opened this before and i was literally the only person that was about to touch it so I was okay with that so the receipts they do kind of give you like the ones in the store um, obviously it's different coloring but it does have like the tags and the actual like receipt there um, so the price for this one at the outlets was 890 which whenever I have my small version I think it was like 700 ish dollars I don't really remember I had it maybe like six years seven years ago um, but let's get into the bag so the dust bag is just like the older Gucci dust bags um, and here is the pieces so this is the Soho Disco medium chain bag but in the back it has a no pocket or anything I do see like a little shaking here we can see what that is in just a moment um, one of the things that my smaller version had that kind of pushed me even more to sell it was that the front buckle as soon as you try to open it it was so strong the magnetic hold on it was fantastic that it was pulling away the leather so whenever i got this out of the box that's the first thing i did just did this and i was pleased to find that it's a little bit more subtle so coming into the bag the little protectors um, which I think I will keep just so that the chain doesn't leave any imprints. So the bag does come with a tassel. Ooh, how pretty. Um, it has the light gold hardware, which is pretty much what a lot of the Gucci handbags have from the Soho line. And then the chain which I'll unwrap in a few taking this out this is very nice okay so this is the inside it has a pocket right here and it has a zip pocket 
which the zipper's on the other side. It has a zip pocket right here. Um, assuming this is like the care booklet. And then right here, there's there's a little bit of a spacing, but it's not an actual pocket or nothing. Um, it's just a separation from the flap in the bag. So that is it. So that is it. This is the grain. I want to say it's capskin. I'll have to look into it. Um, but yes. I'm very happy and pleased that I do have it and the spacing line is so much larger of course because it is a larger one the small version it literally just has like one slip pocket that kind of looks like this it's not zipper at all the pocket is pretty much the entire length of the bag which is okay so this little pocket is not it's a credit card card holder size if you will um but yeah this is the handbag and let me take it on off and give you a quick modeling shot So obviously what's cool about having a long chain is the chain on this bag is not detachable but that's completely fine because you can have this as crossbody, shoulder and a small date night as well as fully tuck this in and have it as a clutch. So I'm going to show you what it is that I mean. You can double cross it and then you have a small bag. Of course, you can do a full tuck and you have a clutch now. for all the modeling shots for the bag if you have any questions on the actual bag let me know um, I haven't really used it of course I have these smaller ones so I can kind of tell you my experience with the leather and craftsmanship of Gucci but I don't want to judge this piece without actually using it so if you would like any further videos on this item just let me know down below if you have any other questions about anything that I mentioned just let me know as well I'll try to put the product information for this one as well as the policy down in the description part Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. See you next time. Goodbye.